back to Our Hustle Our Way podcast. Today we are going to be doing a little get to know you episode and um, we're going to ask each other some questions that neither of us have seen so this should be fun. Um, Yeah I mean we might already know some of these things about each other but it's for you guys. Yes it's for the audience. All right so um, good morning Shanice. Good morning. All right. Or afternoon or whatever it is when people are listening. I know, right? Um, do you want to start? Okay, sure. All right, I'm on the spot. So we'll just dive right into this. Um, where are you from? Oh, I. so that's a game I usually play with people. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. You know where I'm from, so I can't play it with you. Do I? You're from a lot of places. <laughs> yeah. Where were you born and raised? I was born and raised in West Virginia. What part of West Virginia? Um, Eastern Panhandle. So I grew up in Shepherdstown and Carneysville. Um, It's not far from Harpers Ferry. Okay. So I'm asking more questions. Now I'm diving deep. (laughs) Okay. What did you enjoy most about where you grew up? Oh, well, it was beautiful country. West Virginia is beautiful. Um. And it was close enough to D.C. We're only 45 minutes from D.C. Oh, nice. So it was close enough to D.C. and Baltimore that all of our field trips were (laughs) to really cool places. Yeah. But we didn't have all of that rush of being in the city because it was really very rural. It was very country. Mm -hmm. Um, My grandparents had a farm and my, my one grandmother lived right next to us. My other grandparents lived right behind us. That's cool. And down the road about a mile were my other grandparents. And they had that they're the ones that had the farm. And then when I got a little bit older and he stopped um it was a working farm, so when he stopped utilizing the entire farm, he mm-hmm. parceled it out to all of the kids. So if you went down the road next to their house it was called mom paul parkway oh was, that's like, cute named mom paul parkway my aunt and uncle lived on the right and your last name is parker so well it was potter then oh my maiden name is potter <laughs> <laughs> michelle potter michelle i could potter you're right you were married <laughs> yeah so my aunt and uncle lived on the right the next house was my um my real dad and then another aunt and uncle and then another aunt and uncle and then another uncle so it was like your own little community it it was so whether we were at that grandparents house or at our house with my other grandparents living behind us we had lots of cousin time big family gatherings big family get-togethers it was it was a great place to grow up good sounds like it (laughs) so i i know that you were born and raised in pennsylvania (laughs) Unfortunately. Well, (laughs) so my first question for you is, do you see yourself staying in Pennsylvania? Um, because I have a daughter, yes, I don't want to. I want to move to Charlotte, but I don't think I can because I already have my daughter. And then my mom would want to move, my grandpa, like everybody would want to come to where I'm at. So I think I'm going to be here (laughs) for the rest. For the rest of our lives, because then with Lance and I, his family is huge, and they're primarily here, so I don't think that's going to work either. Okay. All right. But I I do travel often, so I will travel to other places. Oh, we're getting to that. One of my other questions. (laughs) Don't ruin it. Don't spoil it. (laughs) Oh, my God. (laughs) All right. So my next question is, what sports did you play in high school? If any. (laughs) Yeah, that was not a thing for me. So what did you do? My so my dad was an he was an all star baseball all star and um and he also played football and he also played basketball. Mm-hmm. So in our backyard, I um got pitched to a lot and had to hit, hit balls a lot. <laughs> yeah. Um. No pun but intended. I, I never really. I mean, I was I was in track in junior high school. Um, I was also in the marching band. Oh my gosh. Me too. Mm-hmm. But I, in high school, I know you're going to find this shocking. I actually <laughs> got a job when I was 16. 
No, no not shocking <laughs> at all. <laughs> I thought you were working since you came out the womb. You probably would if you could. <laughs> oh, you know, my grandfather, he worked until he was like 90. Yeah, you're just a hard worker. It's not bad. Um, okay. So I know you like to travel. I think everybody knows you like to travel. I was really feeling that this summer as I was here working. and I still work when I travel. And, yeah. <laughs> what, what is it about travel that you love the most? Uh, well, now that I'm in the position that I can actually travel and afford it, I really enjoy seeing other places. And the fact that I can work when I travel, that's why I do it so much. And when I come back home, I'm more inspired and I work harder. So I think that, and I get busy when I travel. Like every time I go away, it's like everybody needs something. I get new clients. I get people under contract. So I'm like, all right, well, maybe I should just go. But <laughs> I just love seeing new places. And I'm with somebody that loves to travel too and is down for anything. So it's just fuel to my fire. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's nice when you have somebody who likes to travel with you. It's uh, We just have so much fun. We like just explore and we're the type of people that like to do everything we like to try everything we like to go to the local spots um we don't necessarily like to just go to the um touristy spots so do you are you one of those travelers that you have to have an itinerary you've got everything planned out before you go or do it, you go with the flow it's a it's a little bit of both because uh lance is like go with the flow and most of the people that I travel with are like go with the flow, but I like to I like to at least have a general idea of what's there so that we have options mm -hmm. because certain things you do need to plan ahead for like if you're going on excursions or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, so I like to know that ahead of time, but I do like to go with the flow as well if that makes sense. Like if I wake up one day and I'm like, you know what, I think I just want to like chill and maybe like if we're at the beach, I just want to go to the beach or something like that then we'll do that, but it just it just depends. So when you say that you work on travel, when you, you work when you're traveling, what do you mean? Do you mean like you are servicing your clients in Pennsylvania while you travel or you're traveling on location? I mean, you're working on location. Um, so I'm servicing my clients in Pennsylvania. I do like to meet other realtors when I'm wherever I'm at so that I consider that work. It's an appointment. Mm -hmm. I'm getting to know them seeing if I want to use them as a referral partner. Uh, but I'm doing emails. And before, I just got a transaction coordinator. So now that I have her, I, I will utilize her more. But before that, I was writing contracts, scheduling showings, doing all the things I do here. And yes, I have somebody that's always helping me when I'm gone, but I'm normally coordinating it all. Okay. Okay. And when you travel, do you like to travel domestically or internationally? So I've never been out of the country. What? I did not so, know that. So, um, but we have ordered our passports and we will be going out of the country next year. Um, that was something, it's on my vision board where I would like to go. Uh, so yeah, stay tuned. I'm going out of the country. <laughs> okay. Okay. And do you like... Um, do you like to... Sorry, guys. My daughter's here. <laughs> I was oh like, my wait God. a minute. Yeah. <laughs> um, do you like to fly? Do you like to drive? So if we can drive, we will. Um, I do prefer to fly because I'm the type of person where I like to fly in... I like to... The day that I'm traveling, I still like to use that as a day to do stuff. Mm -hmm. So I like to get there as early as possible. So if we can fly, we can take an early morning flight and still head Have the day. straight from the airport to do stuff. I like to use that day. I don't like to call it a travel day mm -hmm. because I like to take a lot of short trips. So I need that day. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. So when you go to different locations for travel, do you like to shop? <laughs> yeah, I do. It depends. Well, I ask that because, you know, I've lived a lot of places and there's just not a lot of shopping in Pennsylvania. No, not, not I always travel out like I go to um, Maryland to mm -hmm. my favorite outlets to shop or King of Prussia. You have to at least go yeah. that far to get find, good stores. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I agree. Or online. Yeah. 
Yeah. Most so. of my wardrobe has come from other states. Yeah. Mine is starting to be more online. And also with working and being busy, I don't have time to travel to shop. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I do like the daily, like the subscription boxes because it does make it easy. Okay. But I, so I am a shopper. (laughs) I love to shop. Yeah. I just don't really have time for it anymore. Yeah. That's why I've gone to online and Mm -hmm. it's really bad because I think I order, I think I buy more stuff online because I have more time to shop, like, you know, leisurely. Right. Um, So my next question for you is... What's your zodiac sign? Oh, gosh. Okay, so my zodiac sign is Sagittarius, but I have no idea really what that means, <laughs> except that, like, I know certain traits I know are related to um, that sign. Like, I am very independent. Mm-hmm. I'm very free-spirited. Yes. I'm just pulling up your sign. Mm-hmm. I'm very direct. Mm-hmm. And um, I can be dynamic, and I know what I want, and, I, and I'm and i going to do what I'm, you know, what I'm going to do. Like, I live in my own world. Yeah, you do. Um, it, Sagittarians are fiercely protective of their independence. Yep. Yes. Check. <laughs> <laughs> right. Sagittarius, Sagittarians usually approach their careers from a very practical perspective. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. They often know what they want to be when they grow up from a very early age. That I did not know. Well, that's not true. Wait, let me continue. Okay. (laughs) They choose careers that they believe will be secure, well-paying, and enjoyable, too. I can definitely see that with Mm -hmm. you. Um, Let me see. After all, they will be working long and hard, and they want to get the most out of their time and energy. Yes. That's very true. Occasionally Mm -hmm. risk-takers. Check. (laughs) <laughs> many well-known entrepreneurs are sagittarians okay. yeah their will par- power paired with strong self-belief and keen intellect helps them succeed at any role Mm-hmm. that's true so i guess you are a sagittarian so my daughter does this whole like she looks at like my sun and moon i and, and she said, she said, you know, mom, once I read what your sun and moon was, you made sense to me. I'm like, I don't know what that means. But yeah, some people are into the horoscopes and stuff. And I am because I really am. Uh, but some people like are just like, whatever about it. I'm really I'm into it. <laughs> so sure. I was I was raised in a very like faith based home. And this this kind of stuff was taboo it was taboo <laughs> sorry guys sorry, I guess. oh my god we have a lot of sound <laughs> effects today <laughs> zoom zoom um but as i've gotten older and i have had more life experience and my views on spirituality have broadened i think that um i'm more open to i'm more open to a broader um perspective on things that influence our lives now, mm-hmm. I don't, I don't, I'm not a person who thinks, you know, first of all, I've never been to a fortune teller, but I'm not someone who, I believe the mind is very, very powerful. And I don't buy into somebody else telling me what my destiny is because no one's shaping that but me. And I go back to, I'm a Sagittarius. <laughs> yeah, true. I'm pretty strong. I'm pretty, I'm like, um, very... What a spiritual, like I believe in God and I get, have a lot of faith and I am, I don't even know. Well, I believe in God well, and, yeah. and I have a lot of faith, but I also believe in manifestation. Yeah. So, yeah. So now I'm going to have to, I have to ask you, what is your zodiac sign? And I'm I, a Virgo. And now I have to go research that. Yeah, I have the app on my phone. So I think my mom was a Virgo. Yeah, I'm 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 a Virgo, Journey's a Virgo. Um and we are very like um I'm gonna bring it up so we can read it. Very detail oriented. Virgos are therefore delicate and sensitive, yet at the yes. same time they can be critical <laughs> and picky. Yes. <laughs> mm-hmm. Um Virgos may appear cold as there is a tendency to hide emotions and suppress natural kindness. Mm-hmm. Um I'm probably 
like, mm, when people meet me, they might think be intimidated by me because the strong exterior, but I'm like really soft, actually, like really soft. Um, let's see, Virgos, pe Virgo people have to take care to show those they love how they feel. Mm-hmm. Let's see what else. Mm, Virgo people are often very hard to read. That doesn't mean that they don't have great wells of love to draw from. That's true. I think that you, and maybe it's because we know each other better, mm -hmm. but I think that, I mean, you're, when we've touched on this before, you're definitely more in the feeling space. <laughs> yeah, for than, sure. Than I am. But people don't know that about me until they get to know me because like people that just see me or might interact with me just a couple times like they might be like oh like you don't it might seem like I don't go through anything or I don't deal with anything or have emotions but I'm like so emotional it's insane um it says Virgo people achieve great success in business but it rarely happens overnight that is true it's because you take the time to do it right yeah um, their it, success is usually attained slowly and steadily mm -hmm. and over a longer period of time. And I don't know if that's a Virgo thing or a Shanice thing. <laughs> but one of the things that impresses me about you is that you you take the time to – I'm quickly decisive and you're, <laughs> and you're more of the – hold on a second, Michelle. Let's, I let's research. research this. <laughs> that's literally like, What do you need to research? <laughs> Just, let's just do it. You want to do it? Let's do it. <laughs> no, seriously, because um, it's good though because yeah. we complement each other. Yeah, you, and I've I also work better off of like a schedule. That's why I'm like very organized and I'm spontaneous. <laughs> yeah, I'm very organized. <laughs> Everything's super planned and calculated, uh, as much as it can be, because I just I don't know. I'm just like I just need to know like what may like know you that need to know what to expect yes you need that structure structure and my color guard instructor always said this and she noticed this about me from the beginning like she was just if i was ever like not having maybe like a good month or something because we were together a lot with color guard like 12 hour mm -hmm. practices all the time and she's just like what's going on with you she's like you need a schedule you need structure so if i was ever off of like just feeling off she knew that I wasn't either on my schedule or something was off because I'm just not me if I'm not if I don't have structure which being an entrepreneur is super hard <laughs> I know and I think so I th one of the things that I like about our partnership is that you I'm working on being more structured I mean if you saw my calendar you would be really super impressed with me right now yay um <laughs> but one of the things that I, th I hope you're, you are open to working on is being able to move a little faster. <laughs> but, I but I think some I of think we're moving pretty fast, guys. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I just have to think about th I'm, I'm not taking as long to you're think about things, but you're not. But I also think some of that comes from the trust that we're building as partners. Yeah. You know, and as we you know, get to know each other's styles and we are learning. I mean, we've had a pretty freaking phenomenal year. Yeah. So I think, I think it just comes with time. Yeah. It it's a learning time. process. Yes. Okay. Oh, you is ready? it my turn? You ready? It's your turn. It's my turn. Okay. What? You have <laughs> an amazing daughter, Journey, who's with us today. Mm -hmm. um, how many children do you want? I just want two more. Two more. So you want a total of three. Mm -hmm. See, I can count. Two plus one. <laughs> right. Plus three. <laughs> I would like to have uh, a boy and a girl. Uh, yeah, I really want a boy next. I know I can't, like, pick. But if I could pick, it would be a boy. Well, how many brothers and sisters does Journey want? Oh, my God. Endless. I mean... I would ask her right now, but that's opening up a can of worms because then she'll want to come <laughs> on here and talk. Uh, but I don't know. She wants a lot. She asks for um, kids all the time for me to have kids. So when is that happening? Mm -hmm. I don't know. First, I have to have a ring on my finger in the in the a wedding and a honeymoon, and then we can talk about that. 
<laughs> well, all right. So you've got a plan. Shopping. Yeah. <laughs> I, know, <right? laughs> I know his sister's like, you don't need all that. All you need is the wedding. I'm like, no, I need to have a honeymoon. I need to like just enjoy being married for a little bit and then have a kid. And she's like, whatever. <laughs> I think that's funny that you've got it all planned out. <laughs> yes. Um, okay. What's your biggest fear? No, <laughs> that's deep. So, hold on. I don't think that that's recording. <laughs> the video thing for YouTube is not recording for sure. So we're not going to have a video for this one. That's fine. <laughs> I was looking at it. I was like, why is it on photo? Uh-huh. Gosh, well, guys, right. we're still we're, we're still learning. learning. We're learning. And we're we're trying different pieces of equipment too. So just bear with us. No video. Um okay. <laughs> My biggest fear. Um hmm. My biggest fear I have a couple. Mm-hmm. Um one, my biggest fear, and they kind of tie in hand they're kind of hand in hand is failure mm-hmm. and not being able to care, not being able to take care of myself. Okay. And I think that's part of where my drive comes from. Um, take care of yourself financially. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Like I need to be financially safe and secure, mm-hmm. which, which I am. So I Amen don't, to that. <laughs> I don't, but I don't know. I've always felt like that though. Mm-hmm. And I think it's because, you know, I didn't grow up with a lot. So, and I know how quickly, you know, we've talked about this before, how quickly things can change. Mm -hmm. Um, So I, you know, I don't ever want to be homeless. Right. I don't ever want to be, and I know how quickly that, I mean, I, I've done, you know, I've done a lot of work with homeless and, you know, it's not always, it's not more times than not, it's it's a family that's living paycheck to paycheck, and something happens, and mm-hmm. and and it all goes away, and it's really really difficult to get back on your feet after that. So I think my my two biggest fears are failing. I don't like to fail, and I don't like to feel like I'm failing, right? And not being able to take care of myself. Okay, yeah. understood. Um. Okay. What is your favorite childhood memory? Oh God, do I remember my childhood? Goodness. Um. Hmm. Mm. I think it was going to. Now I think I have two. So the first one is going to Disney World with my whole family it was like my grandpa first of all my grandpa he was ever since he was in the marines when he was like 18 he never wore short sleeves or shorts ever it doesn't matter how hot it was so i got to see my grandpa's arms and his legs when we went to disney <laughs> that's were, awesome <laughs> they were so, and they were like not the same color as the rest of his body because he doesn't show them it's so cute <laughs> So that was really like, it was like he came out of his shell and it was really nice to see. So that Disney World, my fa- like, I was like, my parents are rich because we're going to Disney World. Like, I felt like <laughs> it was the best vacation ever. We stayed on the resort. We stayed for seven days. Um, it was the best. So shout out to my mom and my stepdad for making that happen because it was the whole family. Um, and then my other favorite, it was more like memories, is our, my dad's side. We have a family reunion every year. And we always, um, we got the bus and we all took it down south. Like it was different locations every year. And I really enjoyed those. I got to spend time with my cousins. I got to, you know, be at the hotel with everybody. And we did at different activities. And I just love the family reunions. I think the last time I went on vacation with my grandparents, like the whole family, mm-hmm. was in 1982. Okay. And we went to Knoxville, Tennessee, 
because Fine. that's where the World's Fair was. And I'm not even sure if they have the, the World's, World's Fair, Fair anymore. anymore. We'll have to look it up. But um, that was a really cool experience. And my mom, so my parents were divorced, mm-hmm. but my mom had such a great relationship with my grandmother. My grandmother was like my hero. And my mom sent me um, with like a whole color scheme. Like all of my clothes were the same color so that my grandmother <laughs> couldn't lose me. Right. That's so <laughs> smart. Yeah. It was funny. Every day I wear the same color. Different outfits, but it was all the that same color. That is seriously so smart. I would never think to do that. I mean, the crowds were real. It was... Yeah. It's like Epcot on steroids. Oh, my gosh. Love Epcot. Um, what the... Is it my turn or your mm-hmm. turn? It's your turn. Um, where's your favorite place to vacation? Right now, it's Anna Maria Island in Florida or Hawaii. Yeah, I've never been to either. <laughs> Um, I'm actually, I've never had a desire to go to Hawaii because of how long it takes to get there. Um, but no joke. that's yeah. no joke. <laughs> Do it first class. Yeah. We're getting there. Um, but Florida is like pretty close. Mm-hmm. How far is Anna Maria Island from Clearwater? It's, it's not far. Oh, so I can go there. Cause I'm like obsessed with Clearwater right now. It's I want to go far. back. So I, I used to, my favorite Clearwater is where my favorite sunsets are in Florida. Mm -hmm. Oh, so beautiful. But Anna Maria Island takes the cake. Okay, so I need to put that on my list. You have to go. We can put it on the list, no problem. (laughs) Put it on the list. I'm going to own a home there, so. Okay, it'll definitely be on the list. (laughs) Um, Okay, do you have a favorite holiday, and why is that your favorite (laughs) holiday? Okay, so my favorite holiday is... My birthday. Saying, that is not a holiday. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just joking. I'm joking. Okay. I do love that day, though. But um, <laughs> um, my favorite holiday is, oh, my gosh. It's between Thanksgiving and Christmas. I love both of them. Um, so when I was younger, it was Christmas, obviously, because we get gifts and stuff. Um, but as I've gotten older, I really enjoy Thanksgiving because... It just brings everybody together, and there's no. It's just like, like we it's get like to the gateway. Eat. Yeah, we get to eat and we have drinks and we just spend time together and play games. And I love Thanksgiving. I still love Christmas just as much because now I get to be like the giver and get everybody everything. So I like that. But yeah, I think it's Thanksgiving. Yeah, I I do love that Thanksgiving is kind of like. It's like the season opener. Yeah. It's, that was my next question for you, actually, oh. was what's your favorite holiday and why? Oh, okay. <laughs> my favorite holiday um, is probably it's probably Thanksgiving or Halloween. Not That's really. not a holiday. Not really. It's probably Thanksgiving. Um, my and, and, things, and things are weird for me now because I'm at a place in my life where I'm an empty nester and sometimes the kids are home and sometimes they're not. And um, so it's different. It's very different than I expected it to be. Are they going to be home this year? Um, not all of them. It's really hard to get all of them in the same place at the same time. Because well, they have other family. Well, and they don't all live here. Well, yeah. it's. I'm noticing that it's hard for Lance and I because we have – my family and then his and so the between the two of us we might have like four or five houses that and we can't always hit all of them Mm -hmm. (laughs) every holiday so what we did last year was we celebrated christmas on like the 23rd okay so that all of the kids could be there together and i actually loved that because then christmas morning i could get up and there was no pressure right so yeah we, so mike and i got up and we would have like a really slow easy morning and then if the kids did want to pop in mm-hmm. we they cooked could. yeah we we cooked and we had you know the traditional holiday meal right um but there was just no pressure it was it was yeah. it was awesome now that's good in the future if my children are listening <laughs> then um and and they decide they're not coming home for christmas or the holidays mike and i will probably travel yeah i would like to take um journey just like to disney world or something during christmas but i know that it, that would be more of like my thing i know she would enjoy to do it but i know everybody wants to see her on you know the holidays <laughs> well and then i think too when mike and i have our, our beach house 
um, we probably will go to the. the you beach could do for Christmas the there and have everybody else come there mm-hmm. and if, do like um, if they wanted to, and yeah. if not, then you know that would make me sad because some of my favorite memories are the big family gatherings, mm-hmm. um, and I, of course I want that with my children and grandchildren. Yeah. Well, we shall see. All right. Um, so. Kind of to piggyback on that, what traditions did your family have that you carry over to your family? Hmm. Or that you want to carry over to um, your family when you have more children? Yeah, because I don't think that... I mean, we had couple traditions, not not many. Like, I mean, Christmas was always like Christmas morning. Um, whoever, well, all the grandparents, aunts, everybody came to our house in the morning. Like, that's just how it was. Whoever has the kids, the, you go to their house. Mm-hmm. So I still do that um, th- uh, this year, or all the years, sorry. I um, have everybody come to my house and watch Journey open up her presents. And, like, now I have started, I have brunch or breakfast on christmas morning and if i don't i get told about it oh, <laughs> my dad funny. if i don't have food i'm like i don't remember are you guys having food um so i've started that and then i have started the pajamas on christmas eve mm-hmm. every year like giving them to journey um so that we can wear them in the morning nice um i think that's really it as far as like traditions I don't know. Okay. I I think they're just developing over time. Mm -hmm. Yep. (laughs) And I think once I have more kids and I have, um, like, I'm not living on my own, it'll be a little different. Mm -hmm. Like, we'll we'll develop our own traditions. I know that, like, with Lance we've we have these ever since we've been together like you know on holidays we do go to like his family's houses and we try to go like in order or whatever like it's it's really hard right now because we're i mean we're in a serious relationship but you know we're not married (laughs) so we don't have like traditions yet right (laughs) so we'll see okay your turn um It is, if you could live in another time period, which would you choose? Hmm. If you had asked me that question 20 years ago, my answer would be very, very different. Because (laughs) I really had this romantic idea um, about what life was in, you know, like the 1800s. Oh, God. In, in England. You know, it was like a very romantic, you yeah. know, kind of <laughs> yeah. time period. Mm-hmm. But I'm I'm older now, and I really like my creature comfort, so I'm good with the time period that we are in. Cool. That's good. Yep. Um, all right. What is your favorite season? Okay. So it is fall. Mm-hmm. That was mine when I was younger. <laughs> sure, you just said it. <laughs> she- <laughs> I love fall. Love it. I love, I just love to dress for it. I feel like it's not too hot. It's not too cold. I can dress comfortably. Like in summer, I hate when it gets so hot and I'm just sweating. Like I mm-hmm. hate to sweat. Um, the spring is okay. It just rains and it's just like hit or miss. I just love fall because I love everything that comes with it. Like mm-hmm. the bonfires, the, um, I don't like that it gets dark at four o'clock, but um, Mm -hmm. I like the outfit, like flannels and hoodies and boots and leaves, and it just looks Mm -hmm. so pretty in Central PA. So, yeah, I love fall. Okay. Um, Okay, so my next question is, what's your favorite color? I already know this. I'm wearing it. Blue. I know. I already knew that. (laughs) blue are you doing it why is it blue i don't know i just like it yeah i like blue i like red too but blue is my favorite um okay (laughs) okay what is your this is i'm gonna save that one for last all right what is your favorite movie oh gosh okay i have a couple so i like it's not tarzan journey saying tarzan 
Um, that's my favorite Disney movie. It is. Um, but I like. Um, oh my gosh, I like Step Up, Honey, and The Notebook. Those are my three favorites. Okay. Yeah, because I love dancing movies, singing, like, keep me entertained because I am not a movie person. But if it's romantic comedies are my favorite. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I love The Proposal, too. I can watch that. I I watch that every day. I was just talking about that movie this morning. It never gets old. I own that movie. Me, too. It cracks me up every Mm -hmm. time. Lance is like, how do you keep watching this movie? I'm like, just like you keep watching Avengers. (laughs) I think one of my one of my favorite lines in that movie is when he calls her an emotional terrorist. <laughs> and then when, when she's meeting his family and she her response to everyone is pleasure. <laughs> pleasure. No, or when her Louis Vuitton bag gets dropped in the lake. <laughs> I love that movie. We okay, should we're watch gonna have that. to have a we're gonna have to have a movie yeah. where we watch that together. I love it. Um <laughs> So, what's your go-to Starbucks order? A uh, caramel macchiato. Tall, grande. Usually grande, but I never finish it. Hot, cold. Hot. Okay. Hot. Caramel macchiato, guys. Caramel That's what it is. Macchiato. Do you get anything special in it, or you just get it how it comes? Extra caramel. Okay. <laughs> Alrighty. Um, and then, and then I also I do like the one. I don't know. I can't remember what it's called, but it's got like a crunch. Oh my god. Um. Lance's sister loves it. It's the uh Is it like a praline sing- crunch or no, no, no. It's it it's on the menu right now. It's yes, called it a is. uh toffee. No. <laughs> I can't remember what it's called, but it, I like Caramel that one. something crunch. I uh, that's annoying, I can't remember it. But yes. Um it's your turn. Okay. This is my last question. It's a big one. We did ten already? I have two more. What? Yeah, I still have two. You only had nine. I had ten. So you have to think of one. I'll have to think of another one. Okay. okay. Um, what is your biggest goal, your biggest dream? Mm, I would like to be the first millionaire in my family, but there comes more with that. It's like I can really break it down. Okay. <laughs> um, but I just want to be able to um, – my goal with that is to inspire others to be able to show them that you can do the same thing. Um, I want to be able to, you know, take care of my parents. I want to be able to take care of my daughter without and my future kids without stressing. I don't want money to ever be an issue. That's because I grew up and it was always an issue. Mm-hmm. And I think that people don't like to talk about money because they have um, just such negative experiences with it. Mm -hmm. And I just want to be financially stable to where I just don't have to worry about it. Like, I can do what I want to do. Yeah. Um, I think I have more of a plan than I ever did. I mean, I think when I growing up, you're like, oh, like you want to be rich. Mm -hmm. But what does that mean? Mm -hmm. So I really have broken down what rich means to me. And it's not just money. It's, you know, being secure with myself and happy. That's Mm -hmm. like a very rich feeling to me. Um, And being able to inspire others really, you know, that makes me feel rich. So it's different things. Rich to me is not just money. Mm -hmm. Um, So I have broken down everything and i will be a millionaire (laughs) claim it yes i will be okay good answer thanks um so what's your favorite dessert we love sweets (laughs) around here all of them yeah, I'm, so Shelly makes the story. Oh, I'm going to tell you. I'm going to. I'm going to tell you a story. <laughs> okay, tell me a story. Oh wait, I, I think I heard this story. The Mother's Day story. When you ate the whole thing. So <laughs> she makes this. She makes this dessert, and I have a very difficult time controlling myself around this dessert. And my daughter asked her for the recipe for Mother's Day. (laughs) And we had our Mother's Day meal. And then Caitlin pulls out this dessert. And I dished up some for everybody. And then I took the rest of the bowl. (laughs) And I ate it. What was it? (laughs) 
I can't remember what it's called, but it's got brownies and chocolate pudding and some mm. whipped cream and some caramel and some toffee. Mm. And I think it has Heath, bar- like crushed up Heath bars. So good. So that's, that's right now, that's my favorite. But you give me anything caramel and apple or chocolate and I'm, I'm a goner. I, I just can't even have it in my house. I know. I love all desserts, honestly. I'm just, well, there's some that I don't like, but I just love sweets. So it's very few. And I never used to be a big sweets eater. I mean, I love cheesecake, too. I mean, and I like all the different flavored cheesecakes. Mm -hmm. Cheesecake Factory is so good. I love pumpkin pie. Like, when I was pregnant, I ate a whole pie right out of the pie plate more than once. (laughs) I I can never see you doing that right now. (laughs) Oh, my gosh. I You'd be so mad at yourself. No, I give myself grace during the holidays. Oh, okay, good. Mm-hmm. You yeah, should. I have to. I encourage all the sweets. All I the encourage eating. all the food. Like yeah. all of the food. All right, I have another question for you. What is it? Um. Oh, sugar! I just forgot it. <laughs> oh, sugar. <laughs> okay. No, I didn't. All right. Are you? And so we've we've established that you haven't done the international travel. But are you an East Coast girl or a West Coast girl? <laughs> Um, so obviously I've traveled up and down the East coast, a little bit of central and I haven't been, I just went to LA for the first time last year. Cause my brother moved there. I've been to Washington state a lot because, um, my ex that was in the military lived there, but that's the only place I've really been. So I can't really say, I would say I'm just an East coast girl for now. And what I've seen on the West coast, I don't really like it that much. Mm -hmm. Like, L.A. was just not it for me. I love the um, hiking that I did and all of that. But, yeah, it just wasn't it. Yeah. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah. Um, Okay, so my last question, it is, if you could have one superpower, what would it be? Oh. I... If I could have one superpower, I think it would be just, and I don't, I don't really, it would just be to make the world a better place. Like for, to make the world a place where people were happy and got along and everybody had what they needed. And I know that sounds like really cliche, but this world is just awful right now. It is. And I see, you know, especially over this holiday period, I see so many families being divided um, you know, over their personal beliefs and, you know, I just, and I think that was by design, you know, I think that I just, I, it's horrible to see families not even able to break bread together because, because of what's happening in the world. Right. So you wouldn't want to fly? Mm-mm. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. I would want to fly because <laughs> I need to get to places faster. Yeah, because as a realtor, just, the flying realtor. <laughs> <laughs> I do want to make the world a better place for sure, but if I could fly, that would be amazing. <laughs> I would never be late and I would be able to travel you late. I would actually I'm actually getting better because I was actually here before you today. Yeah, you were. And I've been like making a conscious effort. And it's not that it's in my DNA, honestly, because and I say this because my Uh dad the things I could blame on my DNA. No, because my dad. So my mom is literally 30 minutes to an hour early for everything. And it stresses me out because if I tell her to be at my house at 10, she's there at 915. And I'm like, mom, I said 10. Now I feel rushed. But like, really, she's like, you're fine. But my dad, you tell him to be somewhere at 10 and he's there at 12. So it's that like, would drive me crazy. <laughs> that's why. Yeah, that does drive me crazy. It's not like five to 10 minutes late with him. It's hours. Um, but. I don't try to be late. Like, it's not like I sleep late or anything. Like, I'm up super early. It's that I find, I'm like, oh, I have an hour. And then I start doing other things. And next thing you know, it's like, oh, crap. I only have, like, 15 minutes (laughs) to get where I need to be in 30. Like, it's, I just start doing other stuff before I go out the door. (laughs) And I shouldn't. I should just, I really should just leave. (laughs) Just leave. (laughs) To get there early. Just leave. Because I'm just like, oh, I'm going to be an hour early. I don't want to leave yet. And like, 
that's what happens well i think this was fun yeah it was interesting it was interesting i hope the audience enjoys getting to know us a little bit better and i think we should do it again next year yeah i think so too all right guys so thanks for tuning in don't forget to like and subscribe and leave us a review okay bye bye guys